Hey there, I want to get personal and serious for a moment with my ladies. Um, anyone who knows me knows that one of the goals that I have with having my wig shop is that I hope to help promote normalcy related to wig wearing. I want to help erase the stigma that comes along with wearing alternative hair. Whether it's um, a wig or a topper, it seems that those two things have the most stigma with it, especially wigs. I have found for whatever reason, hair, um, hair extensions are supposedly ex acceptable or more widely accepted by people. But for whatever reason, if you're wearing a wig, it's like, oh, she's wearing a wig. And I don't get it. And I want to talk to the people who have a skewed viewpoint on those who wear wigs. And I also want to talk to those of us out there who are wearing wigs and struggling with coming out of the closet, so to speak, with wig wearing. Um, I first started playing around wearing wigs about six years ago, and I would have sooner died than have anybody know that I was wearing a wig. And I did that for several months and I had a lot of uh, bad wigs that I ordered and sent back and whatnot and it was, it was bad. Um, but my attitude about it was equally as bad. Um, I was just mortified that anybody would know that I was wearing a wig and um, my level of discomfort with it was ridiculous and unnecessary. But at the time, it didn't seem unnecessary. Um, but it definitely took over me emotionally. And the entire time that I would wear one of my wigs, it's all I could think about was if other people could tell and what they thought and that kind of thing. I was very uncomfortable. And uncomfortable enough where it was just easier for me to take off my wig and take the, you know, the wigs that I had uh, collected through purchasing online. I, I had a bad experience with, with shopping for a wig. But anyway, I had about four wigs and I just chucked them in a box and shoved them in my basement because it was easier to not. Okay, and now fast forward six years and I've got this wig shop and I understand and admit that it's easy for me to be really vocal and loud and proud about wearing wigs because I own a wig shop and they kind of go together. So I get that, but I do want, uh, I do want my fellow wig wearers out there to, um, be open at least to some words that I have to share with you. I do not mean to tell you how to feel about wearing a wig. All I want is to offer you some words of encouragement and a different point of view and see it all if that will help. The reason why I feel the way that I do, like one of the things that bothers me the most about um, women who are so concerned about anybody knowing that they're wearing a wig is that it's so unnecessary and it's consuming mentally. It's all you think about. Who's going to notice? Um, what are they going to think? And that kind of thing. Is it on right? Did it move? And all this stuff. And it consumes you mentally. If you've never worn a wig, you, you most definitely have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those of us wig wearers, um, we know sometimes mentally it can just, it, it can occupy some mental space there and it really stinks. Um, and so I want you to know that it can be so much better than what it is for you. That if you're someone who cares a lot and is kind of um, stuck in that worried 
stage and just really not super comfortable with your wig wearing, it can be so much better. Um, I have so much fun with wearing different wigs and wearing them loudly and proudly and just having fun with it. Before I forget, this is um, January by John Renault. I just have her kind of tied tied up for fun today. Um, anyway, I like I enjoy wearing different wigs, and I couldn't imagine being stuck with wearing one wig because day after day I can't have long hair and short hair and blonde hair and brunette hair. It's got to look the same every single day. If I don't want anybody to know that I'm wearing a wig, then I need to wear one wig every day and have it look pretty much the same. Um, and then when I'm ready for a new wig, that new wig that I would pick out would have to be virtually either the same wig or something so minutely different that nobody would notice. And that, in my opinion, stinks. You can't have fun with wearing whatever styles you want to wear because you're trying to hide the fact that you're wearing a wig. And so... You know, that, that isn't the most fun way to wear a wig. And, you know, with me wanting to help erase the stigma, it doesn't help that there are so many women out there trying to quietly and privately wear their wig, which only, in my opinion, keeps, it just perpetuates that stigma that goes along with it. You're hiding it, you're embarrassed of it, you don't want anybody to know, and you're just kind of um, helping that stigma grow um, as opposed to being a loud and proud wig wearer and owning it and having fun with it and kind of exuding this attitude of, yeah, I'm wearing a wig, so what? You want it to? It's, it's really fun. You should go check it out, you know? And that's the kind of attitude that I have. And I feel like I want to invite my fellow wig wearers to consider thinking, just think about that for a moment and consider, you know, coming out of your closet and enjoying wearing wig wearing and, and not worrying so much about it and being able to wear different styles and just not have so much mental space being taken up by worrying what everybody else thinks. And in doing that, you're going to play a role in slowly helping everyone out there in the world see that there's nothing wrong with wearing a wig. Because there is nothing wrong with wearing a wig. But it seems like lots of people think there is and that it's weird. I don't really know. But it's just an opinion and it means nothing to me other than the fact that I would like um, to help erase that and help people to have just a much more open view of alternative hair wearing. So uh, I encourage you as a current wig wearer to entertain the idea of just growing comfortable enough with your wig wearing that you're able to just have that attitude that, yeah, I'm wearing a wig. Is there a problem with that? Um, and if you're out there um, feeling a little like gossipy or, oh my gosh, she's wearing a wig, you know, what, what is the, what is the point of that? Like if you've ever said, oh my gosh, I think she's wearing a wig, um, why, what is the point of that? You know, um, so I just wanted to bring this up today. It's been on my heart for several days and I finally just decided I would put together a little video. I don't want it to come off like a lecture. I want it to come off as kind of a, like a PSA for everyone. Um, that's helpful both to current wig wearers kind of trapped mentally in this icky place um, and then also people out there who might have a negative attitude towards wigs and I want to call you out and say why what's the problem you know so thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye